हेलो गाइज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी सॉल्विंग टू इम्पॉर्टेंट मैक्सिमा मिनिमा टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन दीज टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बी इट कैट और बी इट जैट एग्जाम सो लेट्स सी द क्वेश्चन नाउ अंकित हैज़ फॉलोइंग रेवेन्यू मॉडल ही चार्जेज रुपीज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड पर पर्सन टिल ग्रुप साइज ऑफ टू हंड्रेड ओके फॉर एवरी एडिशनल पर्सन बियॉन्ड टू हंड्रेड ही स्टार्ट ऑफरिंग डिस्काउंट ऑफ रुपीज फिफ्टी टू ऑल मेम्बर्स ऑफ द ग्रुप द न्यू पॉसिबल इनकम फॉर अंकित इज ओके so basically what is happening for 200 people uh, he charges rupees 20000 okay for 201 people the per person charge will be less than 20000 that will be rupees 20 20000 minus 50 okay if uh, there are let's say two additional people means 202 persons then the per person charge will be 20000 minus 50 into 2 because it is given in the question that for every additional member adding in the group there will be a discount of rupees 50 okay so uh, this is the scenario now the thing is what will be the total revenue see total revenue will be total revenue total revenue will be 200 how many people are there 200 plus n i am assuming n additional people 200 plus n and what would be the per person charge that will be 20000 minus 50 n okay so this will be the uh, equation for total revenue and i have to maximize this total revenue and that is something asked in the question okay so if i just multiply this it will become a quadratic equation minus 50 n square plus 10000 n 10000 n plus 4 lakh plus 4 lakh yeah plus 4 lakh okay so now this is the quadratic equation and i have to just find the maximum of this quadratic quadratic equation um i can find the maximum of this quadratic equation by a formula called minus d by 4a okay this is minus b square minus 4ac upon 4a now if you solve this answer will be coming out to be 45 lakh so this will be the answer to this particular question okay 45 lakh so the question asked the new possible income for ankit is okay so this will be the maximum income for ankit let's see the next question okay so the next question says fruit shop sells apples in boxes of different sizes selling price of each apple is rupees 5 per fruit minimum number of apples in a box can be 100 for every additional 25 apples added to the box the price of entire box goes down by 25 paise per apple okay it is 25 paise what should be the number of apples in the box that would maximize the selling price of the box okay so i have to find the number of apples at the point where the selling price would be maximum okay so uh, just like the previous question i have to make one equation and then find the maxima of that equation okay so that's the basic uh, uh, line of thinking behind this question so if there are 100 apples in the box if there are 100 apples 100 apples in the box the price is given to be rupees 5 rupees 5 per fruit per apple per apple okay if let's say 124 apples are there i am just taking one example if 124 apples are there the price still remain same rupees 5 per apple rupees 5 per apple why because it is given in the question that for every additional 25 apples 
the price will go down by 25 paise right so for 124 apples the price will remain same okay so what will happen if i add further apples so now i have to assume some lots of 25 apples because i don't know how many lots of 25 apples are uh, to be added let's say this is one lot of 25 apples 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 okay so each of these circles consists of 25 apples right i i don't know how many i have to add and uh, let's see for which the selling price will become maximum okay so let's say there are x lots of apples that are need to be added okay so how many total apples will be there see for 124 apples the price was same now i am adding x additional lots and one lot consists of 25 apples so the total apples will be 124 plus 25x okay i am assuming that i am adding x lots x lots okay and each of these lots consist of 25 apples so the total apple becomes this 124 plus 25x this becomes the total apples let me try to give you a feeling what is happening over here in this question the function will going to look like this okay so so if i add some uh, so this is the function for uh, selling price if i add apples the selling price will increase see it is increasing here it is increasing here okay and till one point the selling price will be at its peak okay at this point the selling price it is at its peak but if i add further apples the selling price will decrease see the selling price are going to be decrease so i have to find for this point that how many apples are there when the selling price is at its peak okay so that's is something asked in the question total number of apples will be 124 plus 25x and at that time what would be the selling price the selling price will be maximum at that point right but what will be the selling price that would be 5 minus 0.25 0.25 just because uh it was given 25 paise in the question so we have to convert it into the rupees okay so 5 minus 0.25 x x is again the number of lots okay so if x takes value 1 means if there is one lot only then the price will be 5 minus 0.25 if x takes value 2 means if there are two lots of 25 apples each then the price will be 5 minus 0.25 into 2 so uh, this will be the selling price okay given x lots are added this is the selling price and this was the total apples okay so what will be the total selling price i have to just multiply both of them what will be the total selling price total selling price total selling price will be total number of apples that is 124 plus 25x 124 plus 25x multiplied by price uh, multiplied by the selling price of each apple and that is 5 minus 0.25x 0.25x so this will give me the total uh, selling price okay and uh, for which value of x x is the number of lots this uh, function will be maximum so there are two ways either you can multiply it and make it a quadratic but uh, i guess that will uh, consume uh, some time so one beautiful method would be okay i hope you know this concept if a b c has to be maximized then it is maximum when a is equal to b is equal to c when each of them becomes equal to each other given a plus b plus c should be constant this is a concept right this should be constant what i am saying is if i have to maximize i am just taking a random example okay abc has to maximize i have to maximize the product of abc so it will the product of abc will be maximum when a is equal to b is equal to c when each of them becomes equal to each other okay and this is this happens when a plus b plus c is constant okay so same concept i will going to apply here in this um, uh, in this equation the total selling price 124 plus 25x 5 minus 0.25x okay the summation should be a constant only then this thing holds okay so i can write 
the total selling price total selling price to be 124 124 plus 25x 500 minus 25x upon 100 okay it was 5 minus 0.25x I just to remove the decimal part I just divided whole by 100 right nothing else okay so now consider this to be a let's say this is a let's say this is a this bracket and let's say this bracket is B okay forget about 100 okay forget about 100 for time being this bracket is a and this bracket is B okay so if you look at it if you add a plus b that is constant right 124 plus 25 x plus 500 minus 25 x 25 x 25 x will get uh, going to be cancelled and a plus b will be a constant so this bracket will be maximum means a b the product of a b is maximum when a is equal to b it is just because a and b is coming out to be constant because 25 x are getting cancelled with each other Okay, so what will it become? 124 plus 25x is equal to 500 minus 25x, right? So this, if I solve this, this gives x is equal to 7.52. Now the thing is, x was the number of lots, right? So lots can't be in the decimal. So it has to be integer, right? apples number of apples the lots can't be the in the decimal value so check we have to check for two values when we i will take x is equal to 7 and for x is equal to 8 okay i have to check for two values now so what was the selling price selling price was 124 plus 25 x 500 minus 25x upon 100 when I put x is equal to 7 this uh, whole thing selling price it will give me 971.75 rupees okay if I put x is equal to 8 over here this um, this selling price would be rupees 972 okay so the selling price is maximum when x is equal to 8 so i will take x is equal to 8 okay so the question asked was how many apples will be there in the box so num total number of apples if you remember from above it was 124 plus 25 x right for 25 x this was the total number of apples just put x is equal to 8 just put x is equal to 8 so what i will get 124 plus 25 into 8 okay and that is nothing but 324 324 apples so this will be the answer so basically for 324 apples the selling price will be maximum and what would be that maximum selling price let's say if the question also asked what would be the maximum selling price so i have to just put x is equal to 8 in this total selling price equation and for that 972 would have been the answer okay if sell total selling price maximum selling price was asked however the total apples was asked and that would be 124 plus 25 x and x is coming out to be 8 so 324 apples so this that's all for today's video i hope you like the concept and these questions are important uh, not only for cat but for that as well so don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet and uh, i will be giving the telegram group link in the description that uh, group is meant for discussion and a doubt solving purpose we will discuss good varieties of questions there so join that group as well i will be giving that link in the description below so that's all for today's video. See you guys in the next one. Thank you.